So Lauren, I really like what you've got going on um, for the badge that you're building for the teen teacher badge. One thing I was noticing, and I'm back here in um, one that I've created in my learning lab space for self-direction is that sometimes there's not, doesn't feel like there's enough information on um, the site here when somebody comes in. I get that they see at the top the self-direction driver badge, and then they see that there's required evidence. And then these three, I know that they give enough information in terms of um, text-based information, but it's not terribly jazzy. And what does it give that kind of overview of what you're trying to do? And I know that's what you, I think, are trying to do with that one pager as well, so that people can see what is kind of going on with that. So I can imagine that the one page that you created kind of being in here somewhere. And so one of the things I was experimenting with was this badge overview space. To me, that feels like that's kind of the introduction to what the badge is. So when I came in and I edited this space, I was able, like you see, let me just cancel that so you can see, I was able to include some text, an image, a video. So you can actually think, make this pretty engaging if you'd like to. And um, I still don't quite know what it looks like when I, when a person comes in to earn the badge, but at least I think it's a place for an overview. So I'm showing you how I did that. So I went in and edited it. I could just, because it's an edit, a text editor, you can just start to type in here, and that's what I did. And then what I wanted to do was put an image in. So I put my cursor where I wanted the image to be and clicked on this insert image. And it's showing me that what I need, get rid of what's all in there. Um, why is that not still in there? Okay, it says paste the URL of the image here. So I went in when I was looking for mine, and I went to our Google search, self-directed learning, went to images, and this is the one I found. When I right click on that, I can do save image, not save image as copy image address. That's what I want. I want the address to the image. And so I was able to come back in here, paste that, and then insert that into the image. And then you see that you've got all of this coding here. And once you hit the save changes, that's when you'll be able to actually see the picture there. So you see how I did that twice? Yep, I don't necessarily want the second one in there, but I just wanted to show you how that happens. So I'm gonna get rid of that first one there. So that image is still there. Then I had a YouTube video that I wanted to go ahead and add in here. And so this, I know it seems a little complicated. I can go ahead and help you with this if you're interested in this, but um, let's just go ahead and do that YouTube. Looking for self-direction. Of course, you'd be looking for something else in terms of teaching, students teaching younger kids. So the Maybe first something about um, the context of what's going on for the TRI program. So when I found the, the video that I want, I come to share, and then I'm looking for this embed code. Actually, I'm not sure if I actually want to need a whole embed code. Let me think about that. Well, maybe I don't need the embed code. Maybe I can just do the share. Let's, let's go ahead with the share and see if that works. So what I'm doing is copying and pasting now, and then I'm coming back in, and I'm going to this little... Wonder, maybe you don't. Yeah, you do need the embed code. I'm just testing something. Sorry, if you can just bear with me for a second. I'm just really curious what's going to happen there. Yeah. Okay. Just um, forget what I was just saying here. Get rid of that. What we need to do is we need to go into um, any of the videos you're going to find if you want to find something on YouTube, and we can upload something that you've actually created onto YouTube. And instead of just connecting with this link out here we really do have to go to embed code because you want the video to actually go ahead and live directly in what's happening on the badge list so what you're going to do is you're going to take everything from this see where it says src what you want to do is take the stuff that's in the quotation marks just copy that oops it'll, it'll let me just copy that oh well, maybe it won't so i'm going to copy the whole thing and again, I, I appreciate you staying with me here because I know it gets complicated here. See this little, little um, box here? What it's doing is it's shifting me out of the regular typing mode and it's moving me into coding mode. And see, as soon as I click on that, it says type any sort of HTML or programming here and it'll automatically format. So when I put that pasting in, you can see that I've got that embed code. I'm going to get rid of all this other typing stuff here. And then when I save that, what happens is, the video embeds there. I'm going to show you that what I was trying to do was get rid of this text because it still comes through, but I can help you clean that up later if you want to. The whole point is that I think in this badge overview, what's happening is it gives you that sense to, that, that um, chance to be able to um, 
yeah, give that that kind of um, context setting. And I can help you directly with how to get the image or the even the Google Doc that you have um, that you've started or that even that PDF that you've started so that people can see what's happening with that pathways right over and in here. I know this is a little complicated.